Hello everyone. Today I want to show you a little part of my garden. I love how this little piece is looking today. It's so beautiful and I treasure these moments because it's the end of a season and how beautiful it's look. So let me show you what I love in it. First of all, it's a rose. Oh, I have some bug on it. Oh my goodness. So first when this rose is coming, it's coming this uh, light uh, peachy color, but then when it's age, it's turning much more stronger pink color. I love it. I don't know name of this rose. My husband got me for present last year and I didn't save the tag, so <laughs> which is I feel kind of sad because I would love to buy more of this rose. So if you know name of it, please leave down and comment below. Next one is a zinnia. Oh my goodness, I have bee on my zinnia <laughs> and it's loving it. My garden has lots of bees all the time. They love my flowers, they're coming all the time. Next one is um, phlox. And phlox has very beautiful scent, sweet scent, so that's why I have lots of bee too. I know you guys probably says I need to cut this spent flowers, but thing is, if I cut it right now, I don't think my flax will um, rebloom because it's end of a summer. I don't think it will reflush, so that's why I leave this little spent flower on it. And a little bit in the back is a salvia, uh, sal blue salvia. Blue salvia here for us in the North Texas is a perennial, so it's coming back every year spreads very nice and um, growing tall and beautiful uh, flax I don't know name either <laughs> because I got from my friend she shared with me but it's very beautiful and zinnias zinnias just seeded itself over and over again so I planted a few years ago and I didn't even plant it this year it's come back by itself and I have way in the back I have hardy hibiscus. I love hibiscus. I need to move him somewhere forward in my flower bed because that's kind of like you almost don't see him there. So I think that's it for today. Thank you for watching my video and see you next time. Bye.